Hi everyone, my name is Sarah and I'm a chemical engineering graduate student and a MATLAB student ambassador. In today's video, I'll be going over the difference between array and matrix operations in MATLAB and which cases to use each. Did you know that the name MATLAB comes from an abbreviation of matrix laboratory? One of the things that MATLAB is best known for is its matrix math. This video shows some introductory examples, but is really only the tip of the iceberg in terms of what MATLAB can do. Stick around to the end and I'll provide some resources where you can learn more. Let's start this video by clarifying some commonly used variable types in MATLAB. An array is an all-encompassing term. All variables of all data types in MATLAB are multidimensional arrays. Within that definition, a two-dimensional array of numbers with multiple rows and multiple columns is called a matrix. Within that, a one-dimensional array of numbers with either one row or one column is called a vector. And within that, a one-by-one -one array or a singular number is also known as a scalar. In MATLAB, there are two main ways that vectors or matrices are involved in mathematical operations. The first is array operations. This is when the same operation is performed on each element of a vector or a matrix. An example of this would be if you measured the outside temperature every hour for 24 hours and stored the data in MATLAB. If I wanted to convert the temperature to Celsius, I could do the same operation on each element of my vector at once. C equals F minus 32 times 5 ninths, and don't forget the parentheses. We can see that each element in our temperature array went through the same operation. The other main way vectors or matrices are used is in matrix operations. For example, let's say I wanted to solve a simple system of equations. Three equations, three unknowns, I, J, and K. While I could do this algebraically, I could also represent the equation's cofactors as a 3x3 matrix A, their solutions as 3x1 vector B, and use MATLAB's backslash operator to solve the matrix equation AX equals B for I, J, and K simultaneously. The dot operator is used in MATLAB to distinguish between array and matrix operations, and is only required in situations where both types of operations are possible. Omitting the dot operator when it's needed or adding it when it's unnecessary may give you the wrong answer for the calculation you're trying to perform. So, when do we use the dot operator? Well, since it is only used when both array and matrix operations are possible, the dot operator is never required for addition or subtraction. It is also not required for any scalar singular vector multiplication or division of a vector by a scalar, since there is only one mathematical outcome in each case, array operations. But, for individual element multiplication between multiple vectors or matrices, or individual element division by at least one vector or matrix, the dot operator is required. One of my favorite things about using MATLAB is how well documented it is. MathWorks has developed a chart explaining exactly which types of operators are best for each mathematical purpose, which I'm showing here. Feel free to pause the video here to take a look. I'll also provide a link at the end of this video to this chart and the documentation page where you can learn even more. Let's look at an example. Let's say I want to divide each element in row vector D by the element at the same index in row vector C. Since I want to perform an array division, and this operation involves multiple vectors, I need to use the dot operator. If I did not use the dot operator, I would still be performing a valid mathematical operation, but not the one that I wanted. I would instead be solving the matrix equation xc equals d. How about if I wanted to multiply c by 2? The dot operator is not necessary in this case, since 2 is a scalar. But what if I wanted to multiply c by d? I would need the dot operator, since both c and d are vectors. Look what happens if I omit it. This time, I got an error instead of the wrong answer, because these vectors aren't the right size for this kind of matrix multiplication. Now, let's apply everything we've learned to a chemical engineering transport phenomena problem. Let's say your professor wants you to plot the concentration profile of the consumption of chemical A, which is an instantaneous reaction on the surface of a pellet suspended in bulk chemical A. By identifying proper problem geometry and boundary conditions, you've determined that the following equation is appropriate. First, I used lin space to generate my length vector r. Now, to calculate ca in MATLAB, pay careful attention to my use of the dot operator. My variables r2, ca0, and r1 are all scalar, so no dot operator is necessary. However, I need to use a dot operator when I am dividing r1 by the length vector r, since this is a scenario where both array and matrix operations are possible. So. By now, we should have an understanding of the difference between matrix and array operations in MATLAB, cases to use each, and some real-world examples. I hope you feel you learned something today. I know I did when I was putting together this video. If you're interested in learning more about operation syntax in MATLAB, please check out the link in the description. We have many other videos for MATLAB-related topics to check out too, so feel free to poke around. Thank you for watching!